What's up, Nerf Regina here. We just got a lot of posts on the official Facebook for Exos Heroes, but most of the posts coincide with the information that we got from the Japanese live stream. And since I already did a summary of that, I won't be going over most of them. It'd be redundant. So feel free to watch that video if you haven't already. However, this upcoming season two and renewal content is definitely new. That wasn't in the stream. So I'm going to be going over this. All right, so first of all, we got you, Pierce Labyrinth which everybody's been waiting for and has been complaining about. Uh, seems like they've reworked it. They've broken it down into five groups. Each group has five dungeons, and then it says every dungeon consists of 25. I think they just mean it's five groups of five dungeons, which will equal 25 altogether. Um, but you can only clear one level per day. Um, and it says, from director's intention, basically, they what they meant to have it do was... They meant to have it be a daily thing, something that you clear over time, over the course of an entire month. However, with the way UPR's Labyrinth was designed before, basically, if you were strong enough, you could just clear it in one day, and you know have, you know, five thousand ish zes in one day if you wanted to, right? Um, so they just rebalanced it a bit. Um, this means, like, for newer players who, like, can't clear. What's up, Nerf Say here? What's up, Nerf Say here? We just got a whole bunch of updates or um, dev notes um, on the official Facebook, although most of them coincide with the information from the Japanese live stream, which I already did a summary video of, so I won't be going over most of it. Uh, if you want to watch that video and you haven't already, please go ahead. Anyway, um, the director's note here for the upcoming Season 2 and renewal content was not on the stream, so I will be going over this. All right. So first, we have the long-awaited revival of U Pierce Labyrinth. Right. Everybody wanted this, and seems that they've changed it a bit. It's got five different groups. Each has five different dungeons, and then it says every dungeon consists of 25. I think that just means there's five groups, five dungeons, which, when you add that all together, is going to be five, 25 um, levels altogether. I think, most likely. They're, like I said, they're really not good at translating. Anyway, um, but the big, big thing is that you can only clear one dungeon per day. So they're making it a daily content, and if you read the director's intention over here, basically they're saying that they meant to have it be um, something that you clear over the course of the month. Whereas before, since you could clear as many levels in a day as you wanted, basically you could just clear it in one day. And have the four to five thousand Zeds from your your Pierce Labyrinth, um, which was not their intention. So basically, just redesigned it so you you know you're clearing it over the course of the entire month. All right, that's it. I, it doesn't say anything about changing the um, the rewards, right? It just says receive additional reward for from clearing every dungeon in a group. It doesn't say anything about changing the rewards, so hopefully the rewards are the same, if not better. I doubt they'd be better. But hopefully they, they're still Zez and still the same amount. Anyway, moving on. All right, next we have Challenge to the Road. Uh, Challenge to the Road is gonna be a new addition, um, new content, and basically you're just gonna be fighting the bosses that you fought throughout the main story again, um, but revamped or buffed up. So it's gonna be even harder than before <laughs> for anybody who got a uh, like just straight wrecked by some boss like Jin in the story get ready you're gonna get wrecked again um, it says there's gonna be five total chapters one basically for each area that we went through throughout the story um, and when you clear it you get a reward and you can't get a duplicate so you just clear it once and then it's done um, it doesn't say there's gonna be a reset so most likely it's gonna be just like the story where you clear it once done you got the reward it's over and then there will be an additional reward if you um, clear the star mileage, right? So if you fulfill all the special conditions, which honestly on story mode is a pain in the butt. So on this souped up mode, it'll probably be even harder. It might We might not even be able to clear it, or at least with the special, uh, special specifications, like off the bat, I'm not sure. Maybe whales can. Anyway, next we have hero element enhancement system. Um, I already read over all this. I'm going to read over this with you guys again because it's kind of hard to explain. Um, basically, it's just going to be a system where you can enhance your hero and it makes it so you can um, 
You break multiple stones with one attack, or in the same attack, same turn, um, if they are the same element, right? So if you're a frost hero and you can break like two, three, four um, frost guardian stones in one attack. Um, once again, they like I said, they don't do the best job of explaining exactly how it's going to work. But I honestly, I have to say, I don't know what they're thinking with this system. Because it means PvP-wise, there's absolutely no point in getting sets, right? People have been getting like all green, all blue. But if I if this system works the way it says it's going to work, that means that you'd be much better off having no Guardian Stones of the same element. You're going to want one of each element. Otherwise, one person can break multiple of your Guardian Stones with one attack, no problem. Which is obviously not a good thing. And it also makes dots kind of irrelevant, right? Because the good thing about dot abilities in PvE is that over time they, they can break multiple um, Guardian Stones, right? They can break two, three, four Guardian Stones. Um, that's the big thing about um, Baelish, right? Baelish is that he has dots, so he just breaks people like crazy in PvE-wise. But with this system, it kind of just makes that completely irrelevant, which is bad in my opinion dots are already you know already got cucked when it comes to the dragon knights but now if they're gonna get kind of made irrelevant in pve also then there's really no point in having them in the game period right anyway let's read over it um a new enhancement system that grants additional attack elements to grown heroes that means heroes that you've invested in that are already leveled up um, strengthen the basic elements of a hero, making it easier to destroy the guardian stone of an enemy hero. The element enhancement has a level of 90 or higher, and the maximum number of the element enhancement is determined by the transcendent stage of a hero with five enhancement steps. That was very confusing. Didn't really make sense. Um, but basically, the way I see it is, in order to use this system, your hero has to be level 90. And then the amount that you can enhance your hero um, through this hero element enhanced system is dependent on the amount of um, transcendence level that you have, right? So if you transcended it two times, you can go to level two. Transcended it five times, you can go to level five. All right. Um, next, the element enhancement process probability um, is vary from enhanced stage, so it varies, you know, as you level it up. The probability goes lower and lower for you. You know, you have a higher chance of probability to fail. Same as every other system in the game. Um, and then it shows the um, the values for that. Um, next, property enhancements include gold, fake core, mew, um, five colors, destiny. Those are the things that you get from dragon and hero vouchers. All right. So gold, fake core, mew, uh, five colored fate stones. Once again, Dragon Holy Grounds, and then Heroic Tokens, those are the things that you get from disassembling, uh, dis disassembling heroes. Alright, um, then it says Director's Intention. I'm hoping that the Element Enhanced System would help users to make better use of the Break System, one of the core systems of Exos Heroes, so that more various stages can be applied throughout the battle, or strategies, sorry, not stages. Um, like I said, I already gave my thoughts on this system. We'll have to see wait and see when it comes out how it really works but from the description that we have so far one it makes dots irrelevant pve wise and pvp wise it completely completely counters um having sets on a hero of guardian stones meaning it, it makes two systems in the game kind of irrelevant um absolutely terrible system if it's going to work the way i think it works all right Anyway, next, we got our next core reverse, our next buffed fate core, and it's going to be Burn of Us, which is awesome, because I actually kind of like the Burn of Us. I, don't, I usually don't like cross-gender stuff, but um, I kind of like Burn of Us's, um fate core. Anyway, that's it. They don't like show what the changes are going to be or anything, but look forward to it. And it also says that they will probably have a banner, fate, um, a banner for it when they change it, so look forward to that. All right, next thing of note would be the Fate Core Fusion Lock System. Lock System for Fate Core's abilities will be applied. Whenever the ability has reached the highest level, you can lock the ability so that the so that its value cannot be changed from the next Fate Core Fusion. 
Uh, to use the lock system, several Zez will be required according to the number of abilities you want to lock. This system can also be used in blue tier fake cores. So basically when you fuse fake cores, right, it gives you stat upgrades, but it doesn't give you exact, um, exact stat upgrades. It gives you, there's a range, right? So one to 3% crit, one to 3% whatever. I don't, I don't know all the stats, um, but it's the miscellaneous stats, not attack, defense, um, attack, defense, HP, right? Those are like the main stats, the miscellaneous stats, such as like crit chance, um, I think speed and stuff like that. So say you fuse two fake cores and you get the highest speed roll, right? You get the max three speed. I don't know what the max is, right? But you get the max three speed, um, but you get low, you know, crit chance, right? But, and you have another fake core to fuse. You can lock the speed so you don't lose that that max roll and then using some zez and then fuse again getting hopefully higher rolls on the other stats right so this is more like pay to win min max stuff which i know will annoy some people but again it's it's min maxing it's min maxing to like the utmost level right the highest level it's really not something to worry that much about right Every once in a while, you'll be pulling for fake cores, and you'll get multiple in one pool, or you know you'll get it on the fifteenth pull. So you're like, okay, I'll, I'll just um, pity for it anyway, and you'll get multiple copies, and this will come in handy, right? If you want to min max your fake or fusions, but other than that, it's really nothing to worry about. Don't stress. All right. Next, we have Holy Dragon Grounds. So they changed the number of battles to one. Right, first it was three. People were hoping for at least a um, an auto repeat function, but they just changed it to one. And basically, um, I'm guessing that they're making the rewards three times the amount, which is nice. Um, I think overall it's really nice for me. It's not so nice because I I still don't have a team that can fully just beat Dragon. So I like to try other things. Like, all right, if I put this person in, what's my score? All right, next I'm gonna put use this team comp see what my score is now but now I can't do that because there's only one time per day but honestly not that big a deal it saves people time I'm sure most people will like this all right next we have a fate core theme relationship effect system um I read this I'm going to read this again and I'm not sure once again don't know exactly how it works we have to wait till it comes out to really know um but fake core theme will be added to the relationship effect if you have a specific fake core theme, the same theme of faker will have effect of increasing the additional capability. Even if you do not have a fake core specific theme, it can benefit from the help of your friends or air squadron members. Members, uh, the buffs of theme effects increase the effect proportionately to the number of fake cores collected. Um, yes, once again. Like, I don't know, what does that mean? Um, it says that somehow it can help your friends and air squadron members. I don't know why. Like, how? I don't, they don't really explain anything. Um, from what this says, I'm assuming that the more fake cores you have from, like, a fake core set, it'll enhance the abilities of the passives that those specific fake cores get from the set effect. Um, but I don't know. Well, again, we'll have to wait and see. They, they really do a really bad job of telling us uh, what this actually is. All right. So next we have Palamon Gifts. It's pet stuff. I'm, not, I'm skipping that. All right. And then lastly, we have the Season 2 update. Um, watch this trailer. If you haven't, I put it on my video for the uh, Japanese live stream summary. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome. Um, and it says that it's going to be coming at the end of August which I'm sure a lot of people are disappointed about and feel like that's way too far away. Um, but if you think about the Summer Festa, how many um, how many heroes there are for that, basically they're just coming out with this after um, the Summer Festa is over. Right? So hopefully throughout the Summer Festa, they'll keep giving us new events and stuff to do. Um, not to mention all of this content that I just went over previously, I'm pretty sure that's not coming out the end of August. That's coming out sooner. Uh, maybe tomorrow even. I'm not sure. So, 
that should keep us occupied until chapter 11 comes out, or season 2. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. That was kind of a long, long update to go over. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you next time. Peace.